All right, in this problem, we're looking to interconvert between KP and KC. So equilibrium constants or uh, equilibrium constants with uh, pressure. Uh, and there's, this is basically a formula type question. A uh, couple things going on. We've got to look at the equation, see if there are any pure solids or liquids that we're dealing with. Here we have a pure solid. And so we're not going to include that uh, in our equilibrium constant because uh, that concentration of a pure solid or pure liquid does not change. Uh, now gases and aqueous type uh, reaction or products or reactants can change. Okay, so there's two ways we can write this. Uh, one is if we're solving for Kp and you'll see some of these ask for Kp and that's gonna be Kc equal to RT to delta N. Now that's if we're solving for Kp. Uh, R is a gas constant, T is a temperature, but in this equation, it's just asking you to write an equation. So you're not actually gonna solve, you're not gonna put R, the value of R in there, the value of T, it doesn't give you a T. Uh, all you have to do is find delta N. Now the other way, and the one this one is looking for is Kc equals Kp, RT negative delta N. So when we're looking for Kc, it's a negative delta N. When we're looking for Kp, it's a positive one. Now, what is delta N? Delta N is how many of the moles change. So the mole, the sum of the moles of the products minus the sum of the moles of the reactants. Now that's that molar coefficient and only counting ones that are gases or aqueous, not the pure solids or pure liquids. And so here we have one as a product minus two, and we get negative one. So delta N equals negative one, but then we're putting in a negative delta N, so a negative negative one equals one. And in this case, when something's raised to the first power, you don't have to put anything up there. Now, if it's raised to the second power, you would, you would put that up, but here I'm just gonna write it out. So I'm gonna plug in K, P, RT, and I don't need to raise it. Now, if it was a two or something, I could put that up there, but there's not. So I'm just gonna put KP, RT. Uh, and there we go. So what we're looking for here is that difference of delta N, and then which formula am I gonna use? Am I solving for KP? Am I solving for KC? And then which ones of these do I include when I solve for delta N.